our future is bright. We have um, our youth that are coming up that are able to go out into their territories, go out and uh, harvest, harvest their resources, um, engage in cultural activities and ensuring that that is protected for them uh, down the road. And I think that's one of the most important aspects of not just treaty, but reconciliation in general is ensuring that our youth have those opportunities to, you know, for some to learn their culture, for some to start learning their language. I mean, those that are, are lucky enough to uh, learn or have an understanding and a deep understanding as to what their culture and language is, that's excellent. But I think for some youth, they need to, to have those uh, on the land experiences to really reconnect with who they are, connect with their communities, their lands, their territories. And I think treaty is one way to be able to enhance that. Reconciliation is another way to ensure that our youth have those opportunities that are so integral to their cultural identity. My name is Marjorie White, and uh, my traditional name is Mamie Denise. I carry the, the uh, traditional name of my great great grandmother, and uh, it, it, evidently it's a name that's been passed on to the eldest uh, female in our, in our family. And so, so uh, my last potlatch in 2010, uh, my brother advised that I should be carrying that name because I'm, I am the eldest uh, female in my family now. My name is Angela Wesley. Uh, my traditional name is Shikshikola. It comes from uh, one of the chieftain families that my mom talked about, and it shows our relationship and our First Nation to and you know, one of our close neighboring ties. So a lot of our names are like that. Mm -hmm. um, when you say your name, elders and others will know where you come from and right, who you're related to because of the connections. Yeah. Uh, but the youth were the ones who got our treaty past the finish line. They, wow. they were involved um, at, as we were concluding treaty, as we were starting to build our constitution, the youth started to you know, sort of sidle it a little bit more and more, and we pulled them in a little bit more and more. I think we'd always tried to get youth involved, but youth are busy too. Mm -hmm. And we probably made the same mistake every other community did, is we decided what the youth should know and what they need to do. Yeah. <laughs> when you let them do what they want to do, yeah. <laughs> things really yeah. start to happen. Yeah. 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 So that, that was helpful, but when they came onto the team and they formed the majority of our ratification teams, uh, they were the ones that were out talking to people, they were out talking to their parents and their grandparents, and they wanted to take it on. When mm -hmm. they understood what we were doing with treaty is freeing ourselves from the Indian Act, mm -hmm. being able to achieve our own priorities and our own ambitions, mm -hmm. not living by whatever pots of money happen to be out there, when we have that ability to decide for ourselves, it was our young mothers that stood up in our assemblies with their young babes in their arms and they said, I don't want my child to grow up under the Indian Act. Mm -hmm. This is about me and my kids. And grandparents who were a little afraid, parents who were a little afraid of getting into the treaty process just kind of went, you're right, it's about the young people. Wow. And you know, I, don't, I might not be on board, I might never be on board, but if the young people think this is what they want, but then, them. then yeah. let, them, let them do it. And you see our young people now, they're educated, they're enthusiastic, they're learning our language, and those kind of things came through treaty. Treaty Talk, the Youth Edition. One of the best experiences that I had during the simulation was the connection between all youth and experts. And I just absolutely loved how we didn't really know each other, but we connected immediately because we are all Indigenous youth. 
as soon as we started um, practicing our own negotiations, it was so fun to see everyone go into their roles and role play and pretty much just experience the, the sessions. Why should youth get involved? Because it shapes the way that you grow up, your children and grandchildren will grow up and you know, you have an opportunity to have a say in policies that are created, in things that affect you um, for years and years to come. It's something that if you don't take the opportunity to speak up upon, then it'll always stay the way that it has been.